What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today I am talking about another spooky season movie from 2023 from director Kenneth Branagh and I believe starring Kenneth Branagh as Hercule Perret. Per 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 I don't know. He's the detective kind of like Daniel Craig's detective in the Knives Out movies but I believe these ones came before with a uh, Murder on the Oriental Express, Death on the Nile, and now this is the third one. So in my mind, these ones came before. I do like the Knives Out ones maybe slightly better. I didn't, I know I didn't like Death on the Nile, but I really did like Murder on the Oriental Express, mostly because Johnny Depp was in there and, uh, you know, kept you like, oh, what the fuck, you know? And like, the first one's always great, you know, um, but Knives Out, Glass Onion, the third one when that comes out, I'm sure it's going to be great, and I like the first two as well. But the cast in this is quite ridiculous. Tina Fey in here, Jamie Doran, Michelle Yeoh, you know, like there's a, a lot of people in here, a lot of faces you would recognize, uh, Kenneth Branagh's Hercule Barrett, I, I can't believe I tried to say that again. <laughs> Overall, a decent movie though. Um, I did like it better than Death on the Nile for some reason. Maybe because it's spooky season and there was like a haunting element to this. But, you know, the whole time you're watching one of these movies, you're like, all right, is this worth my time? Am I having a good time? Is it worth it? Is it fun? Whatever. And then all of a sudden you go, oh yeah, this is a... Uh this is a, a murder mystery and then as soon as the detective starts to unfold the mystery and and show you what really happened and, and point out you know scooby-doo the dude pull off the mask oh this was the murderer you know like clue that type of thing it's always worth it to me i love a murder mystery i think i got that from my mom my mom loves a murder mystery so you know, not a bad murder mystery. Do murder mysteries count in the spooky season of things? I would think so. It does say haunting in the title, but it's not so haunty, scary, whatever. There is some moments where you're like, oh, that's creepy. And uh, at the end, Tina Fey is like, you were haunted. You did see something. And he's like, no, 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 no. I did not see a thing. I am just solving murders, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. But uh, it makes a lot of sense, uh, this movie, and where it goes, and the cast great, and Kenneth Branagh. There was a couple parts where it was shot weird, and shaky cam, and stuff like that, and it's like up close and personal point of views. It was very uh, weird at certain times, like in that sense, where it was shot weird, and it just threw me like, oh, why does this look so weird? And then all of a sudden it would cut and shot differently, and you're like, okay. Keep it like this and then I'd go back to it and you're like, no, 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 I don't know what this close up to face shaky cam is. I, handheld, it, it, I don't know, it just felt weird. But Michelle Yeoh, Tina Fey, Tina Fey is pretty great in this as well. But uh, Kenneth Branagh, you know, I, I was always a fan of Kenneth Branagh's directing in from Thor, you know, Thor 1, people didn't really love, but I thought it really set a tone for like this Shakespearean God of Thunder, Asgard, the suits, you know, all of that, good stuff. Kenneth Branagh as a director, I don't know if I've seen a whole lot of his other stuff, but I do like him as an actor quite a bit, you know, and his uh, detective here is Hercule, Hercule, whatever, uh, Detective Poor Wang, Poor, I can't believe I've fucked this up four times in this episode, I really can't say his name, but his detective's pretty great, I don't know if I like Daniel Craig better, because this guy came first, I don't know, Daniel Craig's pretty damn great as his detective in those movies, um, it just feels like these... These, this movie and like this three movies in the Knives Out three movies feel very comparative to me for some reason. Um, probably because they're both murder mysteries in recent memory, that type of thing. But this came out in 2023 and it is out on uh, Hulu or Peacock, I think one of the two. Uh, I watched it the other night streaming for free. So I think it was Hulu because I think it had ads and that pissed me off. Um, but go check this out for yourself. Comment below your thoughts on it. And comment below do you, other murder mysteries, other spooky season recommendations you have for me. If you want to follow my other social medias, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Letterboxd. If you want to see my other movie reviews and my full list and categories and all of the movies I've seen this year. There's a full list of them on letterbox links down in the description below if you would like to support the channel further smash that like button subscribe if you're new hit that bell so you don't miss future movie reviews my name is big cam thank you guys for coming on by and i will see you beautiful people in the next one peace